Hello out there today. Let me get this set up right. Just bear with me. There we go. What is up? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. What is up? What it is? What it will be? It's your boy from Auburn today. I have my sister Sarah with me today. This is Sarah. I call her Sarabies. <laughs> this is this is my heart right here. Okay, today's story is about us growing up. We're going to entitle it Chore List. Okay. You ready for this one? We're going to let it all out right here. Okay. My father married her mother, I think it was 1989. 88. It was 88? Uh-huh. Okay. How old was you then? I was seven. Okay. About I was, to be eight, I think. I was 11, about to be 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were like eight and 12 when they got married. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, you move, you know, you move in, you stepmom and all this. And my father is a physician assistant and her mother was a registered nurse. Okay, now, every morning, during the summer vacations, every day of our life mainly, we had a chore list. It was Monday through Saturday. Sundays we went to church. It was just a given knowledge you had to wash dishes after Sunday dinner. That was just given. But Monday through Saturday, you had each thing to do. We're talking dusting, mopping, waxing, all of it, baseboards, walls, everything. <laughs> and and it was crazy because we'd wake up long. it was long we'd wake up and we'd be so mad because they'd be gone to work gone to work and we had to get it done and I'm talking about these lists take all day it wasn't no sitting <laughs> around watching cartoons and stuff no it was Windex and the windows on the inside and outside of the house that's right yes <laughs> inside and outside of those windows okay so this is real funny okay so we had to do all that and like we would cheat sometimes like like, on every Tuesday was dust day. Let's just say, I can really can't remember. Let's just say that. I would, on once a, supposed to do it once a week. Well, I dusted once every other week. So I'd just spray pledge around the house. So when, when they come in, they'd smell pledge. <laughs> and we had this big living room rug. Now, like I said, it was in the medical field, but they would not buy a vacuum cleaner. No, I was thinking about sweeping that rug with that straw broom. We had to sweep that rug. I guess we got lack slack or whatever because the rules changed we had to get up an extra two hours early before school and do our chores before school with them there yes remember that yeah when we were supposed to make the bed and i would sleep on top of the bed so i didn't have to make the bed <laughs> she never got up under her covers her whole childhood she never slept up under I the did. covers i did before that but. yeah she was on top of the covers was her childhood and I want to I want to bring this to like too. All right, so we're up one morning early and we got to clean, and it was wax floor day. <laughs> you have to sweep the floor, mop it, mop it, dry it with the towel, dry it with the towel, and then get the and get the wax. Perk. perk. Yeah, it was in a green bottle. It was in a green perk. bottle. Perk. Mm -hmm. So Sarah's upset. She's like, I hate wax. And I just, don't remember that, but she just poured a lot of wax out there and got it up. Well, my father I comes out the little. bedroom. And I don't know if you know about old houses or whatever, but there was the heater was in the floor, and it was a big, like, 10 by 20 crate in the middle of our like floor. Like a furnace. Yeah. yeah, a furnace. And my dad come out there, that wax floor, <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to be cussing. There might be some cuss words in this video, so children, either don't let them watch, or I'm sorry, kids. But, my, but it'll be repeating somebody. My daddy comes out there. And does a Jean Claude Van Damme split over this crate, and he goes, "Oh shit, what the hell!" Like that, real quick. And I remember, I remember, I was scrubbing the bathroom at the time, and I just busted out laughing. I was like, "Sir, y'all right?" Because there wasn't no having no free time, and you didn't want people to come spend the night with you, because hell, they had to do chores too. <laughs> that is didn't they? True, yeah. They'd put you to work. Yeah. Picking up pine. We had our yard was full of pine trees. Pick up all the pine cones and rake up all the pine straw. <laughs> this is true. I mean, how no you do lie. that? How you do that in a yard full of pine trees? We full. did. We did, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, and, wait. What was it? Outside those rose bushes. Those rose bushes. They're gonna plant rose bushes halfway across town <laughs> instead of by the house. Yes. What'd you have to like do? Like an acre away at least uphill. What'd you have to do? Had to fill up those ten milk jugs with water every other day and drag that red wagon with the tin. She had the water in the radio flyer. Radio flyer. <laughs> we wasn't riding that thing. We was carrying water to plant 
<laughs> water the roses. We weren't playing. We did do that. And then after I moved out, they bought a long water hose. And a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> when we left, they got all the nice utensils. And my brother and sister, they, uh, they didn't come up like that. My sister called me one day a couple of months back. She goes, John? I go, yes, sister, what's up? She's like, these kids today don't even know what fantastic smell like, do they? And I was like, they damn sure don't. Ain't got a clue what some fantastic smells like. Y'all with me out there? Hey, kids, do y'all know what fantastic smells like? If you don't, you need to find out. Tell them about vacations. How was vacations? Oh, we I was babysitting <laughs> Matt and Cax. You had to babysit her siblings. We yeah. ate sandwiches. They went out to eat, we'd have sandwiches. That is true. Dude, it is very true. I'm going to tell you, one night, the guy who invented it's Subway funny. come over and stayed a week with us, and that Jack ate sandwiches, and like, hmm, I think we're on to something here. Millionaire. Remember when the Subway got, I'm just playing. <laughs> but then we eat sandwiches. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Daddy would be like, go, there's some good turkey in there, go help yourself. <laughs> that's what it was like growing up in the failure household. We love y'all. Comment below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Go to Drew Gable Bass Fishing. Uh, one thing, I lost my aunt the other day, Aunt Wanda. Rest in peace, baby. I love you. Uh, aunt Janine, keep that family tight together up there. Love y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye.